Alright guys, welcome back once again to episode 2. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. This series ain't, ain't, it's not too bad actually. I mean, I thought, didn't think I'd actually like this game. But this is actually not too bad guys. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you guys are, smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, I had to go do some kind of race I think. But before I go do that, I gotta go, I gotta go take care of my... Uh... Oh, hi Tina. I gotta go take care of my dog real quick, take him outside, and I'll be right back, guys. So hang in there, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go do some stuff. All right. We are back. Sorry about that, guys. Let's just over here real quick. Oh, race day. All right. I go find my way outside. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. 
I'll deal with this, Luke. Ollie, he Let's drove see. you home. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tom. So that's a fact. I'm, well, man, I'm doing all right. Man is a little bit, man is still having trouble going to the restroom, but other than that, I guess she's okay, I guess. Hey, Titi Tommy, big day coming up, right, right? You, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him up a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lil Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. Oh, but you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, hey. If you need somewhere to keep your motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. What you use, babe? The taxi? To race? That? The Corvette? Not a bad corp uh looks like a looks like an old style Corvette. Fast. Holy shit that thing's fast. Did you you must have found that car you must have found that car you talking about because I, I don't have that car, babe. Bobby, yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. Dry, is I it hate dry it. Ah, come on. Track Name garage. a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Yeah, this car doesn't spunk behind it. Things I've seen. Behind 
door number four. Ooh, hello. Jeez. Hello, car. Oh, that's nice. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. What? No, baby. It's a shame Why? We wreck it. If they see this down a row, it looks like, 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 like a bullet dildo. I'm up. Up. Sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1 30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> Holy crap, the thing doesn't speed. Motherfucker's fast. Oh, well, that ain't work. <laughs> this thing sucks. The grip on this thing blows. It's fast, but man, this thing sucks. It Most all race cars backfire. Move it, motherfuckers. Fast car coming through. Holy. Yeah, I say this thing's fast. Holy shit, 100 mile an hour? Damn. Brake check. Those brakes, it's so fast, but the brakes don't want to, it's like the brakes don't want to acknowledge, like, those are like, yeah, the brakes just don't, don't, don't exist. It takes forever to slow that motherfucker down, Jesus. Look out, fucker. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Before anyone catches on, go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. So I got to keep the engine from overheating, apparently. How'd you do it? So as long as you don't go past 100 with it, you're all right. I ain't wanting to turn. 
Oh no, it's like you go to turn it, it wants to, oh my god, the steering is like shit now since they fixed this thing. Oh, that's misbehaving all right, ain't it, Mom? The guy said it's gonna be misbehaving. It's misbehaving all right. It can't. You can't turn. It won't. It wants to go left and right. And it's swerving like crazy. Drive that. Don't tell me you gotta drive this car. Oh, I'm, well, I don't think I'm sucked in. So we Take made it at least. Woo, that was quick. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments. No. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Aye, aye, Captain. You're 
kidding me? Oh, if I had, oh, if I had a better, better, uh... Lichtenberg's exit really has blown this race out wide. They all spell victory. Yeah, oh, if this thing had better, uh, steering, I wouldn't have to worry about going off the tracks so damn much. Who needs Mikey Dunn? This guy is a fine replacement. That time. Newcomer Tommy Angelo is still out in front. Who's going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? All right, this ain't this ain't going too bad, guys. Banking's pretty cool. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. It's a tight pack as they fight for first. I don't care about jumping that curve. I've done I've done that I've jumped that curve what three times now? Fuck that curve. I ain't about to take that turn. Took a while there. I took a minute to get used to that car. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. 
Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <laughs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Yes, I know. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Well, that was, uh... That went pretty good for my first time. Easy to Tatami. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, he's not here, so. Enjoy the moment. Great race, champ. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Who's that down here? Uh, that's not Polly. That's not him. I'm damn sure I am. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Oh, he's down here somewhere. You're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> the guy can't stand straight. Oh, he walks just fine now. Good today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? 
I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. I love how I come down here in a red car and I leave out here with this car. Put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race. Doing some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whatever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah, I have two. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Just don't move us one. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hey, me the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Y yeah, I, I don't feel so good. Mr. Coltham, you want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a. Uh, Back of boys who need her place. Uh, the punks, you know, Cattivi Ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says something they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is, uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hello there. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. 
You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! Here it comes. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Hmm. I'm famous. Well, anyways, don't let the cold Rock in. Is better than being not famous. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you've got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you. I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time. I don't know if it's me guys, but I've seen two of shining armor. So yeah. Red dots you know. down here. I'm sorry well, for yawning, guys. I haven't well, had much like sleep I lately. See. Means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Well, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Oh God, of course. I gotta do a fist fight, really. Some kind of dish, ain't ya? Get away from me! A twist like you's wasted on that greaser. Fucker. <laughs> 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 Hey! Uh, your time with a uh, like that. Uh, you need a real guy. I'm not the kind of dame you mess with. Uh, uh, Walker? 
trying to pull you gonna pull a knife on me? What's wrong with you? Asshole. Get away from me! Get away! <laughs> 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 Tommy! Oh, sh you big bastard! All right, motherfucker, you want to go, bitch? Hope you're better than your friends. Oh no, 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 no! I want the knife. Give me that fucking knife back. Give me that knife. Ow! Ow! You f oh my god! Wow, wow. <laughs> that ain't gonna go too well. Got my ass kicked. <laughs> Got my ass kicked. All right, I <laughs> do it again. First time. I got my ass kicked by a two by four. Oh, you big bastard! Where's that knife at? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, what's this? Eh, no. Really? Really? Are you fucking? Oh shit! How you block that? He's got a baseball bat, and I got a piece of. Damn! <laughs> oh, you bastard! I got my ass kicked again. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I, well, when I when I went into the first time, I had a knife in my hand, but a knife, a guy, a knife ain't gonna work against baseball bat, I guess. It's so hard to time that uh, fighting just right, the right swinging shit. Now. Hope you're better than your friends. <laughs> It's not easy. I did it. Yeah, you playing on easy. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So shut up over there. I don't want to hear you. Don't be talking shit back here. Shut up. My turn now. I'll Hope you're fight better me. than your friends. Big bastard, kick my ass three times. That's what happens to you? Get away from me! You got a good right hook. I'll give you that. You bleed. Wow, really? Come up to my place. I'll take a look. You over there? Do the happy dance. You like? I was like, do the happy song. You gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit.
I mean, I guess getting, I guess getting this shoved through a fence would, would, would cause him to bleed, I guess. You need or a piece of wood. Pain? I know I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. <laughs> Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because... She was an ugly... Jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... It'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know, we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Okay. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good, hun. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? I got guys calling after Sarah in the street. I got payments drying up from the Corleone. I got Morello. Oh, I saw I got a car. Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. 
Some of the bus sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over oh, some really? guys. Oh, really? You, you, you want no brass knuckles? I mean, come on now. Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horseshit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. <sighs> Not, I won't. Thanks, Vinny. Time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dumb, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. Bastard. great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. <clears throat> right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. 
the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Damn. Come get him. Get I'll make you quick. This is mine. Get down. Hey, son of a. Shot one time? Are you fucking serious? Well, it is a shotgun. Bastard. So I made it there.
Tom. We get to that pump for all the other pumps. Kate and Ned. Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! Oh, of course, we still this thing? Come on, we can't lose them! Gotta reload! Careful, Tom. The road's a river. That's Don't all. worry, I got this. They called in the rest of their crew. Reloading. See guys fist their pants this quick. If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Looks like that's the last of them. More of these guys? Dumb son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. <clears throat> Go on a pop and pop. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. <laughs> Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. 
This one's finished too. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Pauly. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well... It'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Go. This guy's a little on the ruthless side, don't you think? Go 
Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? That house you're going to has been headed downhill since 29. Though, I guess the girls are still pretty. We have to talk. Get in. <clears throat> All right. Don't go anyplace yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, Sam. I'll see what I can do. It's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Pilate died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house. Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not nice uh, like the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. I couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Here's your stop. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too.
behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watched the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink. Relax, and in. come through when you're ready. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know the rules, Dottie. I can I help you? I need to talk with the manager. You with our new associates. He's in the lounge. Head through the bar. Can't miss it. You looking for a good time? Come this way soon. You looking for a good time? Come this way soon. Hey, good afternoon, sir. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family. You must be the manager. Who, who is this Don Celieri sends his regards. Oh, the guards! He has a gun! Oh, my goodness! Get this guy off me! We gotta find somebody. Yeah. Well, I must have uh, fucked it up because I just killed a dude accidentally. Found it. Why don't you just figure out how to change guns? That'd be perfect. If I can just figure out how to change weapons without doing that right there. Oh, okay, now I know that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you told me that. I wouldn't even knew that. I wouldn't even figure that out if you wouldn't told me. find some ammo. Is the ammo down downstairs? Is up, oh, it must be upstairs. Come on, die! We got five shots left, and I need to. Where's this stupid ammo at? It's down here. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying let's say and see. Unless I walk past it, I don't know. Ah, yes. Yeah, also health too. Yes, okay, good. I love how walking in is blow that fucking dude's brains like completely out. You must be a manager. Bam! <laughs> One guy's upstairs. Hey, don't make me put you in your place. 
Let me see what naked at least. I got, I got rock. Sniper rifle, really? Wait, what? Oh, what? Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, knives. What's that? Uh, bolt action. Sweet. Alright. I gotta find some health around here somewhere. I got five rounds of this thing. That's the only bad thing. Of course, that door will open. No, that's afterward. That's after this. But by the time, time I get down out this place, I'm gonna have a shit ton of cops on me, though. Yeah. Well, I haven't found her yet, but yeah. What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. So <laughs> I'm sorry. So I won't never open my mouth again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. You scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? Man, he, I didn't know Tina just right. No Tina wrote. Big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. I love how she didn't get dressed. Yeah. She just ran outside with her under with the with the underwear on, like eh, man, whatever. Yeah, brown panties and all that. <laughs> T uh, five. <gasps> oh shit! Yeah, dickhead. I know you're around here somewhere. Where you at? What's up? They gotta be upstairs. Have to be. Yeah, they're upstairs.
you found the other way, dude. Just saying. Okay, uh, I think a hop must be on the side, apparently. Yeah, here it is. Now, see the thing about this one. The, this, the, the only one thing about this one I don't like compared to the third one. The third one you can actually heal yourself. This one you hear you can't. I think I missed him. I missed him. You would think I got him with that explosion. Found it. Oh shit! Uh, uh, Are you fucking serious, really? I can't. You bastards! You can't do you. Oh, he was right there too. what it looks like what the hell happened to you ah sorry well I just shot a cl I shot the clown <laughs> yeah I shot him yeah he's scary all right
and there's cops coming, of course. Oh, look at that shit. Damn it. Oh, there's a bank in there? Or a safe? Wait, what? God, of course. Yeah, I would do the same thing, dude. My back! Oh, that, big, that wasn't a big enough explosion. Gunfire and an explosion reported at the Corleone Hotel. Up there, you asshole! Thought you'd get by, didn't you? Gotcha. Didn't think we'd be here to meet you, huh? Run, fucker, run! You're gonna die! <gasps> Shit! Well, that ain't work. <laughs> Of my plan. No, when I died, my head went, my head glitched to the wall and stuck. <laughs> well, I, I was at the door, but I fucked up, went the wrong way. I went towards the wall like an idiot. Well, at least I'm here, at least. I want everyone we've got on this what? guy. What? I think you said you had to run. Down. No, God, run! 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 Fuck you! Ooh. Fuck you, coppers! <gasps> fuck! Run! Get away from me! Fuck him! Oh god! Woo wee! Shit, which way? Which way? Which way? Fuck! Which way? Fuck me! Oh, here he goes, right there. Run! Be stupid to walk on a piece of wood. I mean, come on. No contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. He is head. Kind of book or something down here, it looks like. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, uh, a protective uh. brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. 
I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! <laughs> Here we go again. Please, More shooting. This is what was really involved over here. You're gonna burn. <laughs> Fuck, run. Oh, he's a fucking aiming bastard. That's aim, it's aiming shit. Hard. Come on, where you at? Down, was I supposed to go downstairs? I wasn't supposed to go downstairs, was I? Oh shit! 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 you done murder in the house of God these men were criminals father thieves rapists killers and God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness now which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor which one might have saved just one life none of us father you bastard. How are you still alive? If you have any <laughs> confessions, I shot that so a bit. Quick. No more bloodshed, please. I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. Well, he shot him. I shot the dude. That make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come, 
You tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. They followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Oh, great. There's no end to the... Got a new guy! You can patch yourself up over there. The former crews are around the church, boys. Don't, Don't let them out. It. Don't let them in. It hurts. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> Diapers. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Oh. Shit. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out they every don't couple bring of the city. cops. I'm trying. It's not easy. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. Yeah, he's been seen. Go get him, boys. Okay, we lost him. <sighs> Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, oh my we God, gotta lie the low car grew wings, babe. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. Wish or something? Shut up, dude. I'm trying. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> this ain't easy.
Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Salieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from Assisi, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard. And every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... ...you could run this town someday. Well... ...I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh... 
What happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Let's go see that real quick. Yeah, sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to it. Nice car sitting there. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you remarked for the Don. All right, I'm all going to do that real quick. Just going to get in that car real quick. This time, I want to take uh, not that one, but nah. Tell you what, that rain comes in and has a huck of a major, major play in this. The rain. Then the brakes don't work too well. This is that car, Mom. That's why. This is car here. That's why. Faster car. Damn, this thing is getting it. Oh my, oh god. 
That hurt. I mean, that's the car I can get, can't it? The door came off almost. Dang it. Hello? Yeah, we got trouble. I got calls about explosions. Are you serious? There is an officer to check it out. Be careful. There's a way in right there. Come on, Tom. All right, shut up. Shit. Hey, hey, watch it, pal. Just try it out. Sorry. <sighs> Notice place. Oh uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. Uh, it's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Uh you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. I'm going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. I he was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. Yeah. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find them. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you.
Someone's been waiting here tonight. Man, what kind of guy shoots a dog? Yeah, that's, a, that's his dog. That's somebody's dog. This don't feel right. That sucks. Poor Wolfie. Oh, goody, let's see. Why is this place? This place looks familiar. Like I've seen this place before. Yeah. way inside this place? The same there is, but I haven't seen it yet. Weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! I'm gonna hang you out to dry. Hey!
this feels right. <coughs> wow! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. <laughs> Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Christ. They're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Well, I got 15 rounds in this one gun, but that's not enough. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. They've come heavy, all right. Make lost heaven PD look like pussy cats. I ain't last. Gotcha. Shit.
Thank Christ. We gotta get to him. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, <laughs> stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. survived worse. You sure? You sure we have? Where'd all these guys come from? He says. Sit him down! Come on, Paul. Where the hell are you? Great, more cops. Now he shows up. Oh. 
Christ. Tony and Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Game already, damn. There's no what how you shoot the top of that thing? Get him either. Good night, asshole. The truck's like half health, and I can't get that one. That's it. That's the motorcycle.
Yeah, I'm stuck. Really? A bolt off? Holy, we gotta lose him! Come on! Yeah, pay this now, you drive. Take shit. Got it when I fucking want to drive. We did it. Almost did. Okay, we're here. Tell him. You can see him out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. I think he's we dead. It. We're at the doctor's house. This is three, I owe you. Oh, see, if this guy's alive, if this guy stays alive, I don't know how he's gonna pull that off. Polly, what the hell are you doing here so late? Evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. And it's, there's gotta be something in this building. It's just saying there's a circle here. Ah, oh, good. There's life here. Thank God. I need this. There's a book here, too, looks like. Oh, those are cards. Sweet. Anything else in here I can take before I leave. Back to, I gotta head back to the Sarah chicks now.
That's close. You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. Hey, Bus. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. 
Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna call it quits right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys do smash the like button, comment below. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. I love you.